From the very beginning, uh, we have uh, stated that there was nothing to even begin uh, the case for the prosecution. And I think you remember that because of that, we have made an application to strike out the charges because we thought that the charges will not be able to stand uh, what the prosecution themselves have presented as their initial facts. But I think the learned judge wanted to be surer than sure. So I think he proceeded with the case in order to determine at the end of the prosecution uh, case. And that was today, to decide whether there is a, a case or not. And he has decided that the prosecution has not proven uh, many of the ingredients that they ought to, to prove, but they have not uh, proven at all. So as a result of which, uh, you find that um, <clears throat> he made a finding on Arul Kanda to be a credible person, a person who has uh, given evidence without any hesitation, uh, without uh, any uh, evidence of um, uh, minimizing his role and maximizing Datu Sri Najib's role. He wasn't of that character and therefore Arul Kanda being the first uh, accused was given the certificate uh, that was you will notice was an indication of what would be the consequence of the decision on uh, Datuk Sri Najib on Datuk Sri Najib he found a very critical very critical finding he found that there is no element of gratification that means there was absolutely no element of corruption in Datuk Sri Najib's role in these charges. You heard a few words of your client just now. Uh, did he say anything? Was he relieved? Or, uh, yes. He communicated to us. As, as you know, he can't give a press uh, statement. Uh, number one is that uh, he is so relieved that the judge has made these findings because it is not merely an acquittal and discharge. You must see that it is beyond that. The judge could have just said there is no prima facie case acquitted and discharged both the, 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 the persons. But the judge made specific findings. Uh, in the case of Arul Kanda, it, it, is, it is a certificate given to him uh, where he is uh, removed from any uh, blameworthiness and he is found to be a credible person. In the case of Datu Sri Najib, the judge made similar finding, namely, there was no element of corruption and there is no element of gratification. And this, Datuk Sri Najib wants to communicate uh, to the members of the media that he is very grateful because that is what hurts him most if ever there is a finding of gratification. And I'm hoping that the Attorney General Chambers will not appeal on this because the finding of the judge is completely supportable and he has corroborated his finding. We hope that this is the beginning of the many good things that should come. Because I've always been confident, not just in this case. And I'm going to repeat to you, even the SRC case, why we fought so hard. Uh, after a setback in the change of councils, the setback in him not being heard, we fought so hard in the review. Because I'm confident, if the new federal court rehear the matter, we will be able to demonstrate that he is innocent. And uh, my client wants to tell you that uh, he is grateful to Allah that uh, with this decision today because it really uplifts his spirit and the desire to fight uh, his innocence.